Hello and welcome to a video review on one of the most important topics in science, technology, and society, or the intellectual revolutions that define society. Throughout history, there have been many revolutionary ideas that change the way people think about the world, about life, and about themselves. These intellectual revolutions didn't just change the science, they changed culture, beliefs, systems, and even direction of human progress. They helped shape modern society and continue to influence how we live work and think today. In this video, we're going to review multiple choice questions based on these revolutions. But we won't just uh, give the correct answers, of course. Uh, for each question, though, we'll explain the correct answers and why it matters. For our first question, what was the key idea introduced by the Copernican Revolution? Well, the correct answer is the sun is at the center of the universe. Why? Well, the Copernican Revolution introduced the idea that the sun, not the earth, is at the center of the universe. This heliocentric theory challenged the long-held geocentric belief, where Earth was considered the center of everything. Copernicus model laid the foundation for modern astronomy and sparked further scientific inquiry. So, for the next question, or question number two, who proposed the heliocentric theory? Well, the answer is Nicholas Copernicus. And Nicholas Copernicus was the one who proposed the heliocentric model. This theory marked a turning point in science because it redefined how people understood their place in, their, in the cosmos or in the universe. Although controversial at the time, his idea became a starting point for scientific revolution. And for question number three, what major idea did Charles Darwin actually introduce in the Darwinian revolution? And for the correct answer, it is the evolution by natural selection. You see, Charles Darwin introduced the concept of uh, evolution through the natural selection which explained how species adapt and survive over time. Uh, his theory was revolutionary because it provided a scientific explanation for the diversity of life and challenged traditional beliefs about creation and human origins. For the next question is question number four. What is the contribution of Newtonian revolution? The correct answer is law of motion and universal gravitation. The Newtonian revolution brought a clear understanding of physics law, especially in gravity, motion, and Isaac Newton's work unified celestial and earthly physics under a single set of laws, changing how we understand movement, force, and natural world. For the next question, number five, what is the scientific method did Newton's work promote? The correct answer is empirical and mathematical approach. Newton emphasized the importance of observation, experimentation, and mathematical reasoning. This empirical method became a standard in scientific research, moving science away from spe speculation and towards evidence-based conclusion. For the question number six, what is Sigmund Freud introduced in the pre-gen revolution? The correct answer, the unconscious mind. Freud proposed that human behavior is influenced by unconscious thoughts and desires. This idea transforms psychology, offering a deeper understanding of mental process, behavior, and emotional context. It also laid the foundation for psychoanalysis. For the question number seven, what was the cultural impact of Freud's theory? The correct answer, change views on human motivation in society. Freud's theory challenged and believed that humans act purely out of logic or morality. Instead, he showed that unconscious desires, childhood experience, and inner context shaped human behavior. This had a major impact on art, literature, and how society views mental health. For the question number eight, what is the focus of information revolution? The correct answer, digital technologies and connectivity. The information revolution centers around the rapid develop development of computers, the internet, and mobile technologies. These tools have transformed the way we communicate, work, access knowledge, and creating a more connected information and driven society. For the next question, number nine, what double impact did the information revolution create? The answer is instant double communication and access to information. The information revolution made it possible to share knowledge and connect with others across the world in seconds. This has influenced everything from education, business, to culture, and politics, giving rise to a more globalized and fast-paced society. For the last question, or number 10, how do intellectual revolutions affect society? The answer is they bring paradigm shifts and influence culture, science, and politics. Intellectual revolution mark turning points in human history. Each one introduced a new way of thinking that replaced outdated beliefs. These shifts have influenced 
cultural values, scientific advancement, and political system, helping shape the world we live in today. So, as we've seen, these intellectual revolutions were not just about science or technology. They were about changing how people think, from Copernicus to Freud, from Newton to the digital age. Each revolution helped us grow as a society. These thinkers were brave enough to question what everyone else believed. Their ideas changed the world, and they remind us that knowledge has power. Even today, new ideas continue to challenge us and move us forward. Thanks for this, for watching this review. We hope it helped you understand these revolutions better and prepare for your lesson. Keep exploring, stay curious, and remember, one, one idea can change everything. Thank you so much. Once again, I am John Renzo G. Norca. I am Alvin J. Rasai. And I am Joshua Simbahan. And I am Rumal Lopez. And once again, thank you for watching.